Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Meditation is medication for the mind, because the mind has its diseases, greed, aversion, delusion, and all their permutations. And in some cases we pick the diseases up from other people, and, but we have this weakness inside. We have the germs waiting inside the mind already. It's not the case that we're sitting around perfectly innocent and then we meet up with somebody who's angry and we pick up their anger. Sometimes we're out looking for something to get angry about. And as I said, if we didn't have the weakness inside, we wouldn't be able to pick up these other germs. It's like a physical disease. If your powers of resistance are strong, you can go into a place where a lot of other people are carrying germs around, but you don't pick up the disease. If your powers of resistance are weak, well, that's when you pick things up. And it's the same with the mind. If you could train the mind so it can develop its powers of resistance, then you can live with people who are angry, live with people who are upset, live with people who are greedy, lustful, whatever, but you don't pick up their diseases. So it requires a combination of concentration, getting the mind still, and then insight, discernment, seeing what it is in the mind that goes for these things. Why does it find them attractive? We think lust is attractive. Part of the mind thinks that anger is attractive. All the unskillful states of the mind, they have their attractions. And that's the germ, the fact that the mind sees these things as attractive. So you've got to figure out what the attraction is, so you can figure out what is exactly is your weakness, so you can overcome it. It requires you to get the mind really still and really observant, really alert, asking the right questions. So you can build up your resistance inside. 